All right, going to show some examples of Illuminati symbolism in kids' cartoons. These are just some very popular kids' cartoons. Some some examples of very popular kids' cartoons that are full of Illuminati symbolism. So let's get right into the photos. Here's the first photo of a very popular chil uh, children's show, which I, I used to watch a lot when I was a very young child, uh, called Arthur, where uh, in this photo, one of the characters has this all-seeing eye, the, the Illuminati all-seeing eye, the pyramid right there, uh, right as written on the shelf right as one of the backgrounds. And I've said this before, it goes into your subconscious. You don't notice it at first, but your subconscious does notice it. And they flash these images and you, your children will, will see these images and it goes into your subconscious. I've said it before in other videos, don't need to rehash it over and over again, but uh, just an example of the Illuminati, sub, subtle Illuminati imagery in so-called children's cartoons. This is one example. Here's the next example. I showed this in my SpongeBob video. Uh, where you got Squidward, who's essentially joining a Freemasonic Illuminati lodge, where he's got the Illuminati Eye of Horus on his hat he wears, and you got the Illuminati Pyramid with the Eye of Horus right in the background, the all-seeing Eye of Horus of Egyptian mythology. Right there, open for everyone to see, just right in your face, but when you're a kid you think, oh, it's so cute, it's a fun little cartoon. Right there in your face, open symbolism. Here's a picture of The Simpsons. I showed this in my Simpsons video of the all-seeing eye of Horus on the one dollar bill, the, the American one dollar bill, and again just flashing his image and just getting his images in your subconscious and just blatantly showing it right in your face, but then it goes right over your head because it's programming, That's, hence, why it's called, hence why it's called TV programs. It's programming the minds of your children and you, even as adults too actually. Here's the next image of South Park. Uh, where they have the all-seeing eye, the Illuminati pyramid on the all -see with the all-seeing eye of Horus on it, uh, right there, again, just right there in the open for everyone to see, which is right in your face. It's like the kind of thing where it's right in your face, but then you don't notice it because it's brainwashing you. Again, programming. TV programs. They, ca they don't call it that for no reason. And signs and symbols, they mean things. They don't just put this stuff in here for no reason. They don't just put this Illuminati symbolism in South Park here for no reason. And here is the final image I'm going to show you of Family Guy, where you got the Illuminati all-seeing eye on a book right in the bookshelf. And again, it's right in the background, so it's subliminally in there for your subconscious to see. And these are just a few examples of the Illuminati symbolism in so-called kids' cartoons that are just very, very popular these days. Just program your kids into the Jesuit ran Illuminati. So don't be deceived, this kind of stuff is all over the place. That's why you really ought to not watch the Hellavision, or the Tell Lie Vision, because it's, it's all it is is just a propaganda arm of hell. It's propaganda from the pit of hell that the that furthers the Jesuit ran Illuminati, One World Order, New World Order, Luciferian agenda. So anyway, don't be deceived, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.